so I'm back. Um, yeah, okay, so, yeah, I guess first things first. Um, since the uh, last session, uh, the first um, DLC update has been has dropped, and so we have uh, a bunch of new things. We have a jukebox. Um, we have a, um, an, what is it? Yes, see so right, right here. Get, what is this? Oh, Dry Lagoon. Okay. How do I, how do I have it play? Uh, oh yeah, photo mode as well. Uh, sound? What's up? Okay. How do I make it play? I'm so confused. Can you not just... I don't know what I'm doing. Well, yeah, it's been like uh, two decades since I last played this game, so I have absolutely no recollection of what I'm doing. Uh, um, let's see, I can't get that yet. Those eyes still look so derpy in that <laughs> in that shot. Uh, okay, so what am I doing? Uh, wait. Oh, okay. I think that was good. I think that was the issue I was having before, like um, where I couldn't get the map open. I think it's, it might be because you can't do that when you're um, when there's enemies around. I I, I want to like. There we go. Okay, where am I? There's an emerald here. Have I got that? Yeah. Okay, so I need to find like an emerald somewhere. Okay, so... I guess I'll... How do I put... Yeah. Um, I'll put a marker here. Let's see what happens. I'm pretty sure I'm still missing one of the cyberspace levels here. I'm still confused, like, how do I... Oh, here we go. Can I open up the... No. Oh. <laughs> hey, I wanna... How do I... Shuffle, yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Just keep make it let it do whatever. It is cool that they've uh, added the uh, jukebox though, because um, it adds something. It, it, it gives you something more to um, like look for. With the music notes. It's not even just they didn't it's not even just that they added it into the game and you can play the music. They actually added like musical notes that gives you more songs, so it's more gameplay stuff as well, which is nice. Um it's a good it's a really good way of doing going about it, because yeah, usually a game would just add it and then that's it. Um nice popping by the way. <laughs> Be nice if they fixed that, but maybe not, I don't know. Uh Oh god. Yeah. It's nice to just hear this, uh, hear this music in the game, because I do... I don't mind the, uh, more atmospheric stuff, but, um, you know. We know Sonic games for, like, the, uh, catchy soundtracks and stuff, which, um, outside of, like, cy cyberspace, I suppose, this game doesn't really have that. I mean, well, okay, vocal tracks aside, uh, I'm, I'm mainly talking about like when you're just going around the open world and stuff. Um, and again, there's nothing wrong with being more atmospheric, but I, um, 
you know, like the, the catchy tracks that you know from other Sonic games. So, yeah, love that stuff. So, uh, it's nice to have it here. And um, I guess we're just talking knuckles. Um, it's nice to have that, and it's you know. It's something that Generations had where you like unlock different songs and I feel like that should just become a staple for the series because especially for the open world stuff because you, you know it just works really well just going around an open, zo uh, open zone I guess <laughs> and hearing a bunch of different tracks I just I'm I've been playing Switch a lot so I was using the wrong button <laughs> I don't remember where Ages we were. Ago, my people were wiped out by a cataclysm. <clears throat> I know the Coco faced something similar. It reminds me I'm the last Echidna. That I'm alone. You may be the last, but you're not alone. You've got us, Knucklehead. I'll admit, I do envy your lifestyle. Freedom to go where you want, when you want. So do it. Get out there and live a little. Maybe I could. But first, I need to be back to normal. So hurry up and get me back to normal. <laughs> Anything to get you away from me. <laughs> he helps them he is at odds with. He is quick to make peace. Perhaps... No. I have run the simulations. They are doomed. Inter interesting. Okay, so now... Now I need to find... Yeah. Now I need to find the, um... Thing. <laughs> Oops. Need to find the uh, um, cyberspace portal. What's this? Oh wait. I guess I'll just go around this general area. So I'm, I don't remember where I've been. Oh. Okay, I think I found it. Yeah, I think this is... This should be the Sky Rail stage then. Because I know that's in on this island. <laughs> okay. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how well I know my uh, SA2 level design. Oh no! Wait, what? Did I already play it? Is it somewhere else? I don't know. <laughs> okay, this is definitely classic uh, sanctuary, Sky Sanctuary. Okay. Need to get used to how this game, like, controls. Oh yeah, I can, like... Okay, if I hold the Stomper and I like bounce, right? Again, it's been a while. <laughs> oh, I can't. Right, right, okay. I think 
think the classic springs are the ones you can't home attack. Uh. I want to try something, actually. So if I... Oh, what? I need to find something to home and attack. God. Uh, I might have to turn the game down a little bit. Just so it doesn't get o it doesn't just so it the it the game doesn't like overpower me. Now this is like the end. Oh. Okay, you know what? So I do like No. I'm trying to do the like the Oh okay, that's different. Um I'm trying to do the super speed boost you you get. What do you do? Like home attack and like and then boost like cancel it with a boost or something? Oh. Okay. Right. Okay, this will be a good place to test it. Okay, so like... Woohoo! Okay, yeah, it's like that, yeah. It's really funny. Oh. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to practice that. That is a really cool tech, though. Ah, oh, crap. Whee! <laughs> okay, that was not practical at all. I'm, I'm just kind of messing around with it now. Bruh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the timing is. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Just go. Oh! Yeah, being bad at the game yet. Yeah. Funny thing, actually. Um, the, um... This update also add the first update to the game added um, extreme mode, which I think okay. So okay, so why why I understand um, this game this game added a uh, like was it enemy rush or something where you just go through all the islands and fight all the all the uh, enemies and bosses and whatnot, and then after you've done you've done that, I think you unlock extreme mode. Yeah, nice. Uh, and that allows you to. Uh, it, it's like it's just. What is it? It's pretty much this game's equivalent to like a Kingdom Hearts level one run, because like you don't. You only. You, you're stuck at level one, um, and you die, and and you were. Uh, what is it? You don't have any rings, so everything is one hit kill. Um, and another thing they did is they made the S rank requirements a lot more strict. Um, with the exception of 1-2, because they, they knew that that level was already ridiculously hard to get S an S rank on. Um, which I find really funny! Um, I didn't actually... Okay, this... Yeah, okay, I I'll do this one again, because I need... I actually need more vault keys now. Uh... Yeah, uh, what, what should we call it? Um, yeah, <laughs> they made the game more ch uh, more challenging because a lot. Um, one of people's complaints I've heard is that a lot of people find the game too easy. Um, and the, I mean, uh, fair, fair enough. I mean, I will say like a lot of the uh, challenges are or like in the open world are like yeah, they're 
pretty like sim pretty simple uh, maybe to a fault but you know I I don't know man I I I I, I, I see this game as like a good step in the right direction I don't think it's like perfect I, I don't think this is like the best Sonic game ever or anything like that but it's a step in the right direction I think like the next game if they learn from from learn from their mistakes from this especially since like the this game technically isn't done like they they're still updating the game and they like you know come the end of this year um frontiers could be like two to three times better um and it's like they're already on an upward streak with what they're doing with it so um you know you never know but in terms of like this game it's like itself i guess the i i think it's just a good groundwork for something that could be like the the next uh, big great thing for sonic um like the the next sonic 3 for uh, for lack, uh, lack of a better example like the another game where like people are like unanimously like wowed cuz frontier again frontier is a step in the right direction but it didn't imp it didn't impress everybody um, but it does seem that, like most people at least acknowledge that it's a step in the right direction for the series so I feel like come Frontiers 2 um, and like they, they polish things up they fix things they add stuff to make it um, you know actually I'll, I'll try for the S rank for this why not um, they, they um, you know do stuff to win like other people over and uh, like everyone's everyone's happy well everyone uh, that you <laughs> that you can uh, reasonably uh, please because you're not gonna please everyone no matter how hard you try uh, but you know uh, I, I'm point is I'm, I'm looking forward to the future of this series because this it's looking bright uh, I they uh, um, I feel like they have a better grasp on what they want the series to be compared to like say like five years ago so I'm hopeful for the future especially since the um add like what is it the um uh getting more and more um staff members onto Sonic Team like they're um hiring more and more members because as far as I as far as I'm aware like the team that made this game is a uh, pretty well, it's pretty small when, when you compare it to like other big budget like AAA developers and stuff like that um, it's very small um, so it's very nice to see them try and get like more manpower because yeah that'll be really nice to you know not even just speed up development uh, uh, speed like speed up the development for games but also just you know having more manpower in general just would be really good just to you know, uh, make the vision for, like, Sonic games actually come into full effect, if you will. And I don't have to, like, compromise as much as they have been. Because, yeah. Right, so is that... Yep. I wonder though, because I, I still haven't got, um, the cyber, uh, what is it, the, portal, oh uh, yeah, so, um, two, 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 one, two, three, two, four, Two five. Two six is like around here. I wanna play I know that Chaos Emerald is gonna go into it's gonna make me go into I'm tired of Okay, no, I I wanna change the song, how do I Oh right, right. I wanna go to Santa Oasis, yeah. 
Yeah, and like not even just uh, like what frontier stuff. Um, like the the, um, <laughs> the uh, social media team recently made the made the um, a murder of Sonic the Hedgehog game, um, and it's like it just completely came out of nowhere. It was like wait, it's just just an April Fool's joke, and yes, but it's also like completely genuine and apparently actually a pretty good game. <laughs> And it's just, it's, yeah, man. And it's nice to just have them feel like they care about the series again and not, like, th this series isn't just a big laugh laughing stock anymore. I mean, I, I it's still, it, I, I don't know if though it'll ever not be that for some people, but it, it's nice to see that they're actually, like, I don't want to say if like I don't want to say like they're trying again because that sounds mean, but like it. I don't know. It, it feels like they actually know what, what what they want the series to be, and uh, like they it, it, they are they don't feel ashamed of it. Um, and it's just uh, if I, I feel like the series just it's starting to be to put be put in the right direction. Um, they still have a ways to go. But it's they they're getting there now, which I really do, really do appreciate. And um, the fact that Kishimoto looked around on Twitter for a while, just seeing what people uh, feel about the game, what their wants and, and desires for the future of the series, and like actually putting that into account and not just like cut, cutting them off and um, saying no, screw you. Like that's that's really good. Like I. I Obviously, don't listen to everyone because, like, some people just have outlandish requests or stuff that's just you, you just shouldn't pay any mind to. But you know, it's um, it, it's a good thing to like see feedback, see like what people want, and see and seeing how you can like improve things or uh, and all that good stuff. And you know, it's it's a good look for uh, what the series can become because like. Um, you know, doing, like, putting all these features together in a way that works, and keeping, like, um, I don't know, oh, going with, like, Open Zone style or whatever they do with the next game, like, it's, I feel like the next game, I don't want, I really don't want my, uh, uh, I, I really, <laughs> um, what is it, don't want to eat my words. Indeed, um, I don't want to be e eating my words in the next, like in three, four years time when Frontiers 2 comes out. But um, I want to say, my gut wants to say that Frontiers 2 is going to be something special. Um, come back to this video in like f four years when it comes out and it's it's a disaster, and like laugh at me all, all you want. But that that's how I feel. Uh, 2023, um, April 15th. <laughs> Like that's when this is being recorded. This is being recorded. Like th that's how I how I'm feeling right now. Uh, I feel pretty positive about the future of Sonic, and that's something that if I said that to um, my past self like four years ago, I would have laughed in my face. <laughs> so yeah. I don't think I've been here. Oh. oh I guess I'm down here now. I, I wanna... Where the heck... I know that... Right, so all this is like all... 827. All this is not uh, uncut... It's not uh, uncovered. Where the heck am I? Over here. You know what this game- wait. Nope! Okay. I was gonna say, um... I guess the game- 
has the photo mode, but I don't... Okay, no, that doesn't really... Okay, no, that that does kind of help. A little bit. Not really. Um, yeah, what this game could use is a first-person view. Because I... Just getting a good view of um, the world and, like, seeing... Uh, what's there and, like... Getting, getting, giving you a better view of, like, what you're looking for would be nice. Uh... I guess the, I guess one of the reasons why they don't have that is because of the excessive amounts of popping, but hopefully that will be fixed with the next game. Uh, okay. Yeah, I guess the one thing, the, honestly, the biggest reason why I've uh, been slacking on this game is because it, it's really hard to know what the fine things to talk about for an open world game. Like, I've tried my best and I feel like I've done a decent enough job so far, but it's... It's pretty difficult. <laughs> I, I, um... Uh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna check here. How many levels are in... How many levels are in... Was it? Ares Island. Seven. Okay, so... What have I not done then? Have I, have I done all of them? Okay, so... Two, 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 one... Three... What is, that? is it two six I'm missing? I think it's two six. Right. I want to find all the ty cyberspace levels. That's one. F that's one goal I want to, uh, like complete. All of this is just. Have I done all of that over there? Yeah. Like. Yeah. I, it's. I. I'm. F <laughs> it's a uh, pretty difficult to uh, commentate over a open world game. I'm sorry, open zone. <laughs> Can I... Is this a thing? Nah. Because I feel like... This is one of those games where like, I, I would have been in it by now if I was just playing it by myself, but... Um, hey, I... I started this. I, I, I want to finish it as a, as a playthrough, because, you know... It's, it's my thing. <laughs> and I... Sonic is my... When it all comes down to it, my bread and butter. Like, um... I, I remember when, like, Sonic was, like, the one thing I played for a long... <laughs> well, like, one of the... Like, a series where I, I would play endless hours of, um, growing up and... Like, that's... Oh no, uh, I have a lot of attachment to the series, and I don't know where I'm going with this statement, but uh, how do I? Right, I did. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. I just. Like, so Sonic stuff, uh, at least in terms of main series, I want to keep it to solo LPs if I can, because it's, this is the stuff I know, um, and I feel like it's stuff that I, I can kind of just talk about endlessly, um, and, you know, but like, that, that being said though, it's, yeah, like I said, it's, um, a lot harder to commentate over open world like Sonic stuff, I've, I've, uh, as I've come to realize now. <laughs> what the heck? Oh. Okay. <laughs> um. 
This is a really pretty area. What the heck? Ooh! I think I found it. 2-6. Yes! Okay. So I just need to make better use of the... Um... The markers. Because I actually helped a lot. Um... But yeah, uh... I, I, I don't know, I, I feel like it would... I feel like I should... I... Like, I... Owed it to myself to LP my first run of the game. Because it just kind of... It, it, it just kind of feels right to me. But I don't usually do... Here we go, Skyro. Um... I don't usually do blind playthroughs anymore. Uh, like, I'm not opposed to doing them in general. Like, I'll I'll still do them from time to time if the if the moment uh, if the game good <laughs> if the game calls for it. But most of the time, I prefer to do games that I ever played before because I it's um it's not easy to commentate over a blind over a game that you haven't played I I'll say that much because um, you do you don't know what to expect you don't know what your opinions gonna be but in terms of um uh, what, what am I trying to say um what I'm trying to say though is like I nowadays I keep it to doing like blind playthroughs of games where I know I have stuff to talk about uh, ergo while I'm playing this game. Um, yeah, I, I. It's also just nice to have like your first playthrough on record, I guess. Okay, I know they added this. I mean, they didn't add this, but it's like it's nice that they added the. Um, oh, it's nice that they put in the um, uh, section that you'd have. Where, where you used the mystic melody and like made it part of the just part of a uh, normal uh, route. That's pretty nice. And this as well. It, it's nice to like just be rewarded for your knowledge of like the uh, level design of this stage. Because uh, a lot of this stuff was in the original, so it's just nice to see it get carried over. And also, just uh, shows that like. SA2's level design was king. <laughs> no, uh, I'm half joking when I say that. I, it, it, SA2 is one of my favorites. I, I, I don't, <laughs> you know, people have their preferences, but SA2's level design I think is just really good all around. Um, I did play for that game a few years ago. I think I don't know how I feel about that playthrough. Um, it, I. It, I, I would have to look at it again, but um, I don't really know how I feel about it nowadays, but yeah. Uh, but yeah. The one thing that is like a downgrade though is the is the fact that like the rail grinding in uh, Frontiers is like you know it is based off the rail grinding from like Unleashed and like the boost games where there isn't much input involved like there's not much input like you just kind of uh, okay controls please uh. There isn't much like actual input from the player. You kind of just boost, um, and that—that's kind of it. You, there's no way to go faster. There's no crouching, uh, and while it's more stable, it's less accelerating. Like the, there's so much cool stuff you can get away with with the SA2 grinding, and it's so much—it's so much fun to uh, mess around with. It's—I've been playing the, these uh, Tony Hawk uh, Pro Skater a lot lately, um, and it's. 
very similar to how those games work, funnily enough. Like, it just, it, it's very arcade feeling, like, keeping your speed up with the r rail grinding. And, um, you know, it's very easy to mess up, but it feels so good once you get a handle on it and you, like, do cool maneuvers and, like, tricks and stuff. And, like, you go, you, and when, when you know, like, how to balance on the rails correctly, you can go crazy fast. And there's, like, a bunch of cool techs you can do. And, like, it, yeah, it's very similar to how a Tony Hawk game works, where you're going to suck for a while at first. Like, learning how the game works is, God, good lord, I, I did. And I still, still not great. But you, you, as you get better at it, like, you um, learn tricks, you learn how to handle the game better, you know how, uh, okay, you, you, uh, you know, understand, you understand mechanics better and all that, and, yeah, it just feels really good to get to that point, and the rail grinding, while it's still a cool novelty, it's, you know, it's not, it's not the same anymore, like, I, maybe don't make it as, in, like, involved as SA2, because there's a lot of things that can go wrong at the same time, but, I would like some, like, flexibility back. Like, give us a bit more control, because, you know, rail grinding, it's, it's just so fun in that game. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, it is a bit of a, a bit of a learning curve, and it doesn't always work correctly, but, it just, yeah, it's, you know, it's just really fun to mess around with, dude. Uh, and it, rail grinding has never been, that expressive uh, uh, ever since, like, like I me, mean, Heroes was fine, but like it's more, it's basically a worse version of SA 2s with more jank. <laughs> I, I still, yeah, I mean, it's still, it's fine. Like, I think the, I think uh, for Heroes, it's um, they make it more of a, more of a spectacle, I guess, with um, some levels. Um, whereas, like, I feel like SA2, it, feel, it feels more of a, a game, like, no, I don't know how, how to explain it, but, like, um, in SA2, like, when you, when you grind on a, on a rail, it changes everything, like, just the act of, like, going on a rail changes how you, like, play the game, whereas in, uh, well, it, it does that as well in, in Heroes, but it, I feel like it's more spectacle based in that game and like there's less um to do with like the whole balancing thing and gaining speed because you can't really go you can't go anywhere near as fast on the rails in heroes compared to sa2 and it's um you know i don't know what i'm trying to say this is a kind of a mess of a train of thought but um point is i feel like over time they made their the rails the rails uh, more and more of a uh, visual spectacle rather than a gameplay mechanic uh, over time, because like you go heroes, it's less uh, it's less involved than SA2. You go to Shadow, it's less involved than heroes. You go to okay, Secret Rings like that. For forget Secret Rings, like the rail grinding in that in that game is awful. I'm I'm gonna be the first one to admit that. Ignoring that, um, Unleashed Colors. Uh, generations, forces, this game to a degree, um, they all have very similar grinding mechanics, and they're all, like, fairly, like, simplistic, which, you know, it, it's a good, it's a fun spectacle, I don't dislike grinding in these games or anything like that, but, you know, some more substance would be nice. Okay, yeah, that thing that was blocked for ages is available now. 